Please welcome Rosalind Kahn. Hi, my name is Rosalind Kahn. We are with Living the Best Life with Rosalind Kahn, always finding amazing, incredible people. And it's my distinct honor to be here in beautiful Simi Valley at this wonderful restaurant. Can you, can you tell me the name of this restaurant? I always forget these things. It's called Yolanda's. Yolanda's Mexican Cafe. Yeah, it right. used to be Chinese, but then they, all the guys were illegal, so they deported them. And some guy was walking by, his name was uh, uh, Rosario. He said, hey man, I like the mango red. It's wrong, yeah, cool, cool. So they called it, his girlfriend's name is Yolanda. Awesome, the story behind it. Well, so, yeah. I've got a picture here. And I want to know if you can see a striking re resemblance between this man right here and this guy here. Blue eyes, hair is a little different color, got a mustache. Right, yeah. Well, what you don't know about this guy is he is an amazing stunt car expert. He's not only done stunt cars, he's done motion pictures, television commercials. And wait till you hear the titles behind this young man. He's done The Vanishing. How many of you guys have seen Back to the Future? Wasn't that your favorite one? Back to the Future. The Turner and the Noosh, Heaven and Earth, Backtrack. Oh my God, that was one of my all-time favorites. Father of the Bride, that made so many people cry. I know. Now, I had to stop here because I had a question for one of our friends that wasn't here. Did they come to you for the Father of the Bride or did you go to them and say, this is a movie I think we should be made and I can see gold in it? I told them I needed a job. And they said, really? And I said, yeah. Actually, no, I was. Uh, they were already doing the picture. And they called, they needed a stunt guy. And so uh, I happened to be at the right place at the right time. Wow. So I got the job and uh, it was a fun picture to work on. It's just uh, I learned a lot. So wow. Anyway. What, was, what was one of the stunts that you got to do on The Father of the Bride? Well, it fell down the stairs for one thing. But, and it's funny because they never used that in the picture. Uh, I did one where I slammed, uh, slammed the door in my fingers. And, you know, I, they used my hands as, uh, you know, hand robbers and so forth. And that was, that was all, I can think there was more, but that's all I can remember. Well, that's that's pretty cool. So you got to be in the, so did your hand get hurt when you signed up the door? Oh, no, no, it's fine. No, it's okay. It, it's okay, that, that is amazing. Then you were in Blues Brothers in television. These are my all-time favorites. Beverly Hills 90210, oh, Crime yeah. and Punishment, The Quantum Years, The you Wonder know, Years. Beverly Hills 90210. Tell me about that one. Um, I'm trying to think of what's his name, his daughter's name. What's his daughter's name? Uh, Spelling's daughter. Uh, Erin Spelling. His daughter's name. I forgot her name. But anyway. But anyhow, she was a great, great actress. Yes. Yeah. She she was on set one day. We were having breakfast. And so uh, everybody's in line ordering their burritos and all that stuff and everything. And she told uh, uh, the caterer, she said, uh, could I have some toast? And the, the caterer said, yeah, I'll make you some toast. And her assistant said, no, no, don't worry. I'll go to the store and get you some. So he says, hey. Of course, we all just stood there and went, uh huh, okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but uh, those were fun TV shows, were fun. Wow, and, wow. Yeah. And, and and then you've, you've done some work with, with Columbo, and I got some commercials here Pennzoil, The Pacific Bell, Midas, Muffler, Alka Seltzer, Ford, Revlon, McDonald, Chevrolet, Pepper, Mas Pepper, okay. Dr. Pepper, MasterCard, and Renault. Right. Wow. What, what's the difference between working in the pictures, the TV, and the commercials? When you work on a, on a picture, a film, right. it's usually a feature film and, and it's on location. Uh, it's anywhere from six weeks to two and a half to three months long. Uh -huh. And you become a, a family. Wow. You know, you know the, the makeup girls, the world girl girls, because it, when it's time to get a haircut, you don't have time to run to town. So you're in between shots and you go in and you say, hey, Louise, can you give me a haircut? Yeah, come on by tomorrow, Dave. So you go in, boy, and they give you a haircut and everything. And, and in Hollywood, what we do is we don't pay them. They don't, they don't take wow. any money. So over the weekend, I go buy a bottle of champagne, a bunch of flowers, and I give it to the girls. And, oh, how sweet. You know, stuff like that we do. And, but it's, it's like, it's really becoming a family. Right. So everybody's got their own department, so uh -huh. and everything. And you help each other. Wow. You stay in your department, you do what you're told and so forth, but, uh, and you, you learn. You know, of course, that's me. I'm, anytime I'm on a picture or anything, I'm there to learn. Wow, that that's reminds me of, of a beautiful story you told me about the, the power of learning. There was a story that you told me that way back when you when you started, you were you were out on a on a job and you went someplace and you didn't get paid and you were going through the rituals and the routines and you said the guy you, you just show up with your shirts and your business cards. Do you remember that story? Oh yeah, that was with uh, my good friend who is no longer with us. This is Al Needham, and uh, Al. Uh, well, everybody in the business knows how I him. He was a good stunt, stunt man and a good director. He did Smokey and the Bandit oh. and uh, Cannonball Run and all those pictures. And they were, him and Dom DeLuise, uh, they were um, a blast to work with. Hal was a funny guy, though. He wanted you, 
He wanted you working or doing something all day long. If he caught you sleeping in your truck, you were in trouble. Wow. But at the end of the day, when, when the day was over and the work was done, the bar was open. And wow. It was all on how. But if you were late the next morning, not good. Not good. So, but, but Hal was a good director. He was a good action director. Uh huh. And uh, he was a cowboy, so we got along really well. Wow. You, you told me about another cowboy story, something about Clint Eastwood. I, I really love that Clint Eastwood story. That, that was that was up the top. Oh, that's a, that's a personal story that I kind of keep to myself. Oh, I'm, so. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I no, that's it's, it's, okay. It's, it's but right. um, you, you, were, you were training some, some new people, and you were telling them the hard knocks of what it is. You, you had some people who were resistant to learning. And I know as a teacher in the classroom, I, I've got some kids who. They want to do it their way, not my way, but there is a lesson to learning. How is it that you inoculate getting those those little green behind the ears and, and get them up to space where, where they, they want to learn what you're doing and, and helping them to be a success in this stunt world? You know, not to blow my own horn, but I'm kind of like you. I'm a pretty good motivational speaker. Oh, cool. So if I get a bunch of kids together, I call them kids. Right. You know, I'm old now. <laughs> and I get them together and, and uh, they're, they're either new stunt guys or they want to become a stunt performer. It's all pretty much the same thing. I sit them down and I without spending a whole day, I show them uh, where they should be as far as uh, being a stunt performer. And if they want to excel and really go to the top and, and the picture business is a passion, right. they learn more than just hitting the ground. It doesn't, right. doesn't take a lot of brains to hit the ground, okay? Right. But you learn the cameras, you learn the lenses, you learn the film stuff, you learn as much as you can without having your hands on them. And you can get all that information from the camera systems. So then in other words, when the director comes to you and says, uh, Dave, I want you to uh, uh, cross the street, you know, with a shopping cart, and this guy comes spinning around the corner, and he hits a cart, and, and he just catches you, and you do what we call car hit. Uh -huh. I said, okay, fine. Uh, where are you filming it from? Okay, well, I'm putting a camera over here, and I've got one over here. All right, well, that's fine. They know what they're doing, but at least you know what's going what shows and what doesn't show, what you can get away with. Okay, so when that car comes around, I'm not going to stand in front of it. Right. I may be a stunt guy, but I'm not Superman. Right, right. of course, of course, of course. <laughs> it reminds me of when I stayed at the Mayflower <coughs> in uh, New York. Right. One time, they put me on the 14th floor, and uh, the Mayflower is an old hotel. Uh-huh. So I got my bags, I get up there, I go to the room, I put them in the room, and out on the balcony is uh, all the old air conditioners. It's not really, you know, it's not scenic at all. Right. And I look around, and there's these, there's, there's no sprinklers. Oh no. So I called the desk and I told the lady, I said, ma'am, I said, I don't want to complain, but I'm up here on the floor. There ain't no sprinklers. I said, this son of a gun catches on fire. She said to me, I thought you were a sound guy. I uh -oh. said, well, I ain't Superman. I said, you wow. the door. It was kind of a funny story because they were just great people. Right, right, right. So well, it was luck hold hold on just a quick second here. I, I think I hear a bell ringing or something like that. They're telling me it's a, a time for a break right now. Yeah, Can we hold that talk and we're going to sure. come right back to being Superman. Just one moment here. Let's yeah. Thank you for your interest in In Flight USA and our newest publication, BizAvJets USA. We serve general and business aviation throughout the U.S. For more information on submitting articles or advertising in our publications, visit InFlightUSA.com. Thank you. Did you know the number one way to earn money is speaking? Everyone thinks public speaking is the worst. Some people are so scared they never even get started. Your story deserves to be shared. You can learn from top speakers. You need to join Standout Stars for their free week of kindness and gratitude summit. Learn how to get out of your comfort zone and grow to the next level. Develop new skills in business. Find out how experts get motivated to increase their workflow. Develop your writing skills. Find your passion and learn to share it with the world. Unlock secrets to improving your production of your podcast and increase lead generation. Learn how to improve your own personal health and wellness. This is a virtual event which runs January 16th through 21st. Sign up on our website at weekofkindness.com free. Be sure to visit weekofkindness.com. Sign up right now. Senior Care Authority is a one-stop solution for helping you locate senior living options. We understand the care, the costs, and the safety records of hundreds of communities, from assisted living and memory care to independent living and even skilled nursing. We help families cut through the complexity to make courageous, informed decisions under difficult circumstances. Hi. 
Are you looking to get blinged out? Well, look no further. Boss Lady Bling Blingy has all the bling you need. You can find us online at Lady Blingy 4 on IG or Lady Blingy on Facebook or www.BossLadyBlingBlingy here in sunny San Diego at 2031 Commercial Street, San Diego, California. Call us at 619-617-4586. Over 40 years, Playhouse Central Florida has provided education, independent life skills, and job training to thousands of Central Floridians who live with blindness or any degree of vision loss. Whether it's picking up clothes in the morning or just moving around your community and serving Orange, Seminole, and Osceola counties, contact Playhouse Central Florida at 407-898-2483 or visit them online at PlayhouseCFL.org. All right, well, in case you missed it, this guy right here is this guy right here who's got an amazing resume. But there's two things I wanna tell you about in this part that you might have missed out on the last part. So we're gonna talk about the Blues Brothers, baby. Can you tell me about your experience on that show? Well, that was pretty good. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, uh, Ann Fleming's son, grandson, uh -huh. okay. He was one of the sun babies on the show and um, I got called to go to Chicago to do the stuff where we did now. I forgot the name of the mall. It was all closed down. Right. In, uh, in uh, I think it was in Daly Center. Okay. In Chicago. And so uh, it was the chase scene where they're chasing um, uh, Bellucci and, and what's called. And so they're in the cop car. We had the cop car turned upside down right. and it was going around and around. Right. So they had a great big, we call a lazy Susan. Right. A uh, 48 inch uh, uh, bearing. And we put the car in upside down and we pushed it along you know, with a dolly and we filmed it going past all the stores and all the stores were redecorated. Oh, wow. Even though they were empty and the place was closed down, we made it look like it was open and we busted up a lot of stuff. And there's, we, we wrecked a lot of police cars in uh, Blues Brothers in Chicago. Wow. And uh, that, that was uh, the stunts I was involved in was all the car stuff. No. But there's one where it's, it's underneath the Esplanade there, where all the cars come in and they start stacking up and we hit them one by one by one by one. Right, by right, one. right, right, right. I was in one of the middle cars and I couldn't get out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You know, when they called a cut, everybody went to lunch and I go, hey. <laughs> and so all the other guys, they didn't, they didn't care. But it was, it was kind of fun. So some of those stunts that we've done have happy endings, they have some funny endings. Right, right, right. So that was about it. That sounds like a good one. And then you were also in a, in a famous one with uh, John Travolta and, and Nick? It was called uh, Face Off. Face Off. Face Off. And uh, we had a, a scene uh, out at uh, uh, Edwards Air Force Base right. in Palmville, uh -huh. where uh, the jet airplane is coming in for a landing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bobby Z is our helicopter pilot, amazing guy. Right. He's in the helicopter and he's shooting the plane, mm -hmm. trying to get it to stop. And and the scene is, the, the plane comes in, it taxis down the, the runway and goes into the hangar and blows up. Oh, wow. Okay. So we did all that real action. And, and my job was, I was driving the insert car, the camera car. Right. So I had uh, Billy Burton was our stunt coordinator. Uh -huh. uh, I had Burton on the back. Uh, script and, and then I had Artemis who was uh, our AD from Dallas, great guy. Uh -huh. And so um, the only reference I had when I'm sitting in the insert car, and we're supposed to do this at 35. Right. Didn't happen. Oh wow. So the only the only uh, reference I had was sitting in the car, adjusting my mirror so that I could see the plane. Right. And the plane had to be let's call it this big in the frame. Right. Okay? The plane wound up getting this big. Uh oh, uh oh. And so I said, okay. And we couldn't rehearse. Right. Because there's too much, you know, too much trouble, too much money to turn, the, take the plane, and turn it around. And the helicopter is flying backwards so that he can shoot at the airplane. Right. And so we get going. This is probably the scariest stunt I've ever uh -oh. done. Uh oh. And it's, it's not falling off a building or having a shark come up to you. It's uh -oh. none of that stuff. Uh oh. So they, they roll camera action, here we go. I take off, we're going pretty slow. And then we're going a little faster, a little faster. 
and I'm looking in my mirror and I can see the plane getting bigger and bigger and bigger and the helicopter is going blah, 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 blah. And I can't see, all I can see what's in front of me. Right, oh my gosh. I'm running out of runway. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm serious. And, uh, and I have no place to go except off to the side. If I go out to the side, well then I lose the shot. Right. And uh, and, and the blades, the rotor from the helicopter, it, I mean, literally, Bobby, uh, Billy told me, he said, Dave, I didn't even have to stand up, I could reach up and touch the skids, and that's how close we were. If oh you had stopped, we'd die. And so uh, I'm going along and I'm going as fast as I can in that camera car and that plane is going, now we're going 70. Oh my God. Oh my God, is right. And so, and I can't hear on the radio because of blah, 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 blah. Right, right, right. And the AD things on my window scared the you know what out of me. And I kept going, finally I said something was wrong. So I pull over to the side, the plane goes by and the helicopter lifts it up. We were that close. Um, Billy was cool. He um, didn't phase him at all. But uh, everybody on the back was white. I don't wow. care if they were colored, they were white. <laughs> oh my and God. Uh, I, ne I didn't realize how how bad it was until afterwards. And then uh, then they wanted to do some more stuff. Later on, I said, No, I think I'm done for the day. No, I'm done for the day. You guys get somebody else. Oh my God, so, that is, that is, that is. But it was, it was, it turned out good. It, it was the shot in the picture and all that stuff. But um, I didn't get paid for it. You didn't get paid for it? You I mean, I got paid. I, I got paid as an insert car driver. I didn't get paid on my SAT card. And, uh, but that's, that's the only thing I know that. You know, but there's, there's a, you know, there's a lot of that. You were telling me there's tons of stuff that you've done out there that you don't even get on your, no, your yeah. record, but, but you know yourself that you've gone ahead and done them. So what would you, what would you say to, to, to people who, who want to get in the stunt world, but are scared about getting hurt? Don't be afraid to say no. Um, you're not going to look like a chicken. You're not going to look like a baby or whatever you want to call it. For whatever reason, they put you in, hey, come over here and do this here. I want you to do yada, yada, yada. They explain it to you. And you say, well, I don't know. I've never done this before. I don't feel good. If you don't feel good, I don't want you. Right. Okay. I want the guy that goes, I understand. I understand what it is. Maybe we could do position this here. He'll give you an opportunity, an, an option. And you'll look at it and you'll go, you know what? And if you have the time, you shoot it both ways, okay? Just in case. Right. Okay, but if you don't, just say, all right, this is the way it's gotta be. You gotta be here, you gotta be there. Right. And if you're, if you're, um, if you're qualified, if you've done enough of this stuff for you, okay, fine. I know, then you go ahead and do it and everything's fine. Right. But if you're, if you're a new kid, or even if you've been around a little while, and you just go, oh man, I don't know if I can do this. And if I don't do this, I could get three guys hurt. Right, right, right. I could get three guys hurt. Wow. You, that's when you gotta look at yourself and, and tell the coordinator, uh, take it to the side and say, you know what, why don't you put me in the back? Right, right, right. All right, fine. So there's, there's a good and old nobody saying. Nobody says anything. Right. Nothing, no, it's no big deal. Like, eh, hey, go offend that. Right. You know, it's none of that. Okay. Right, right, right. It's better to say no than to say, oh, yeah, sure. And, and, and I'll give you a classic example. I know it sounds corny. Uh huh. I go to uh, commercial interviews all the time. Right, right, right. All the time. And I see guys, uh, they got good looks. They're commercial right, right, right. and all that stuff. And one was for a horse. You know, can you ride a horse? Yeah, I can ride a horse. And I can ride a horse. And, uh, and the one guy came back out and uh, he got the job. Right. And he's, he said, I've never been on a horse before. And so we said, well, come out to the ranch. We'll help you. Right. And we don't charge those guys. And they come out. We, we show them how to ride and everything. So later on, down the road, they do their show. And uh, they ride the horse and do everything's fine. And then the next time when they get a show, they say, I'm going to call Dave. He helped me. Da, da, da. That's how it works. So Wow. But... Riding the horse, doing the stunt, you know, if you can ride the horse, fine, yeah, I can ride the horse. If you can't ride the horse, say, you know what, I've just, I've been on a, a very little, you can still get the job. The director will say, you know what, I'm going to send you over to so-and-so's and have right. them tune you up. 
Right, right, right. That's it's it. all, so it's there all, you go. Wow, it's always good if you don't have the experience, but it's it's listen to that consciousness because that consciousness certainly is a way to, to go ahead and wrap this back That's in right. there. And if you're lucky, you'll get to do an interview with a beautiful girl like you. <laughs> You know, that's, that's amazing that, that you go ahead and say that because it's, it's friends upon friends that really make these happen. You know, I, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for my dear friend, Dr. Marielle McKinley, who brought us all together. And it was the friendship that she had with Tommy Bull. And Tommy Bull said, you know, working with me is like, it's like a family. I have my sister named Michelle and Michelle comes with me. She takes care of Percy and Percy is just the life of the show, just running down below our feet. And he said, you know, there's, there's a guy I want you to meet and there's no better person in the world to go ahead and be behind that camera and do those stunts than this guy right here, Dave Garber. We were so saddened that we couldn't see another good friend, Misha Seagal, and I know that we will see him in another show that's coming up, but Dave, it's, it's been an honor and a pleasure to have you on this platform here with with Chow Entertainment, living the best life with Rosalind Khan. And if there's one last word that you'd like to say to the audience about how they could follow you or how they can keep in cut, contact with you, or maybe they've got a stunt job for you, where should I tell them to go for you? Tell them to call my director, tell them to go. You got it? There isn't a better thing to do. Tommy takes care of the world. We love you. Okay. Gratitude beyond words, and thank you so much. Namaste. Hi, we're back again to Living a Great Life with Rosalind Khan. And I just wanted to say my utter gratitude to having the ability to interview these two legends in their world. I mean, never in my life would I ever fathom being with the person who's, who's directed, you know, 78 films, working with another person who's been the top of the name of all these things. And, and what I want to say to the world is this, everyone in the world there has dreams. What are the dreams that you dream of? What are the things that you think of are impossible? Because I'm here to tell you that if you go back in my life history, life has not always been a, a straight stream to the top. You know, I grew up with scoliosis. I was one of those kids, just like Dave was telling, who, you know, wasn't the most popular kid in school. When I went back to my high school and I got to give a speech to the kids in that, that classroom, in that 700 auditorium, that was amazing. When I spoke on the TED stage and I gave three talks, that was on top of the world. When I was on the NGO platform and I was pleading for young girls for the right to have an education, I thought that was literally over the top. But you see, I wanna let you know that life isn't always easy. Sometimes we have those hard and those difficult moments. And as I drove up here and I said, the people who are supposed to come with me aren't here. It's gonna be me all by myself. We got to the event last night and there were all sorts of other people's friends. But you know, there's a person inside each and every one of us and you need to hold on to that person of who you are because you're great. You're incredible. You can do anything you wanna do. You just need to put your mind to it. You see it in your dreams, you pray for it each and every night. And if my visions can become true for me, I believe the same can be true for you. Gratitude beyond words. Thank you so much. Senior Care Authority is a one-stop solution for helping you locate senior living options. We understand the care, the costs, and the safety records of hundreds of communities, from assisted living and memory care to independent living and even skilled nursing. We help families cut through the complexity to make courageous, informed decisions under difficult circumstances. Did you know the number one way to earn money is speaking? Everyone thinks public speaking is the worst. Some people are so scared they never even get started. Your story deserves to be shared. You can learn from top speakers. 
You need to join Standout Stars for their free week of kindness and gratitude summit. Learn how to get out of your comfort zone and grow to the next level. Develop new skills in business. Find out how experts get motivated to increase their workflow. Develop your writing skills. Find your passion and learn to share it with the world. Unlock secrets to improving the production of your podcast and increase lead generation. Learn how to improve your own personal health and wellness. This is a virtual event which runs January 16th through 21st. Sign up on our website at weekofkindness.com free. Be sure to visit weekofkindness.com. Sign up right now. Biz Abjets USA Magazine is a new publication to the business aviation industry. And business aviation is a growing and thriving industry. We plan to bring you all the latest trends and news. We also plan to bring you new information about new airframes, systems, and interiors to market. Feel free to visit bizabjetsusa.com. Aw, Dad, my computer's slow again and I can't play my games. Call your computer solutions today and we will scan for viruses and clean that computer up remotely and make it fast again. Our phone number is 407-826-0810. Thanks, Dad. My computer's fast again. Now I can do my homework. Thanks for calling your computer solutions at 407-826-0810.